overview of the noun declensions we have covered up to this point. First and foremost, the first declension. So in the first declension, all your nouns are feminine and they're all going to end in A. Okay, so Rosa in the nominative singular, Rosai, Rosai, Rosum, Rosa. Added in the vocative here because we've covered the vocative, so we can start to include it in our, um, in when we decline. Um, so Rosa in the vocative, Rosai in the nominative plural, Rosarum, Rosis, Rosas, Rosis, and then again, Rosai in the vocative plural, right? So there is first declension, all feminine, all ending in A, fairly straightforward, fairly easy. Okay, so then we move on to our second declension. So second declension, we introduce masculine. And in the second declension masculine, we have multiple endings. Your uh, masculine noun can either end in R, as in for, or it can end in US, like in Amherst. So when you end in R, it declines this way, puer, puer, puero, puerum, puer, puer, in the vocative, pueri, put, puerorum, pueris, pueros, pueri, or pueris, and pueri. And over here in the US endings, pretty standard until you get to your vocative. Um, and the second declension, if you end in a US in your nominative singular, your vocative will end in E. So instead, everything else so far, um, feminine and, um, so feminine versus declension, and then the masculine uh, second declension R endings just end, or just are their nominative form. Uh, second declension masculine US endings, their vocative forms are E, A. So amicus, Okay, so in our nominative plural, amiki, amikorum, amikis, amikos, amikis, amiki in your nomin or in your vocative plural. Great. So let's review our neuter second declension. Neuter only ends in um in the second declension. Um, so it will follow the same kind of uh, declining convention as the masculine except for in the nominative plural so instead of having an i at the end like masculine does uh, not a uh, neuter nouns in the second declension end in a and then in their accusative plural they repeat the same form as in nominative okay so it donum doni dono donum dono Donum for your vocative. Uh, dona, donorum, donis, dona, donis, and dona in your vocative plural. So now let's move on to third declension. So in the third declension, We have masculine nouns, feminine nouns, and neuter nouns, all in one. First declension only had feminine, second declension only had masculine, neuter, third declension, we have masculine, feminine, and neuter. So whereas in the first declension, you only ended in A, or all your nouns only ended in A, uh, second declension, you ended in, um, your nouns ended in US, R or UM in the third declension in the nominative, your nouns will end in any of these. It could end in A, E, I, O, Y, C, L, N. R, S, T, 
and X. My goodness, that's a lot of letters, okay? But, thankfully, so this is in your nominative, in your genitive, everything's gonna end on you. So that's a bit of a relief. So your masculine and your feminine are going to uh, decline in the same way. So we're gonna take two nouns in the third declension, one masculine, one feminine. Pater, Patrice, this is father. And Mater, Matrice, this is mother. In the nominative, we have the nominative right here, Pater, father. The nominative. Mater. And in the plural, patres. In the plural, so mater, matres. My other right a little bit smaller, I'm gonna run out of room. In the genitive, we're given the genitive in um, when we're given our vocab here, Patrice, and in the um, in the genitive plural, in the plural we have Patrian. In the genitive over here for Mater Matrice. Matris, that's a form we're giving, or we're given. Matris, same thing over here for the genitive. Matris, um, running out of room here. Okay. The dative. Matris. In the date of plural, patribus. Same for mater. In the date of singular, matri. Date of plural, matribus. In your accusative here, pas, trem. In the plural, we're gonna repeat the uh, nominative form, which is kind of what, um, what not kind of what it is, what uh, second declension neuter does. Same thing over here in Feminine. Matra. And then in our ablative. So in the third declension, you don't have that same um, uh, ambiguity between dative and ablative in the singular, but you will have that in the uh, plural because so while the singular patri versus patre or matri versus matre, um, in the plural, dative and ablative still have the same form. And in your vocative, it's just re 
repeating your nominative forms. So that's nice and easy. Okay, so pater, father, patrice of the father, patri, to for the father, patrem, father is the object, direct object, um, patre, uh, by, for, with the father, or just by, with the father, uh, pater, speaking directly to the father, patres, the fathers, patrium of the fathers, patribus, to for the fathers, patres, Plural fathers as the ob direct object, patribus, by with the, pa the fathers, patres, directly addressing multiple fathers. Mater, the mother, matrice of the mother, matri, to for the mother, matrem, mother as the direct object, uh, matre, by uh, with the mother, mater, speaking directly to your mother. Um, Matres, multiple mothers, matrium of the mothers, matribus, two, four mothers, matres, mothers, direct object, matribus, by, with mothers, matres, direct address to mother. So there's this thing called I stem with third declension. And it's Basically, just means that your stem has an I ending. Uh, so an example of this would be um, for the masculine Kiwis. Uh, Kiwis, Kiwis. Same, same form in the nominative and in the genitive. So remember, uh, S is one of the endings of, um, one of the possible endings for their declension. So this is a masculine. And this is um, citizen. Another example, so we'll have a masculine and a feminine, um, would be ours, artists. This is our feminine example, and this is art, skill. So uh, the nominative is going to be the same. So it's going to decline like the we just established that it would QS in the singular, QS in the plural, ours right here, in the nominative singular, artes in the plural, in the genitive singular, which we're given here and here, QS, and then it's in the um, the uh, genitive plural that we have a little bit of difference here. So in our gender plural, QEM. So patrium and our pat pater, <laughs> pater patris, uh, mater matris are also ones that can have this IUM or just a UM. because they're kind of, um, because they've been used so much, there's uh, multiple accepted forms. But for the most part, uh, unless there is an, like an I, S in both our nominative and our genitive forms, in the genitive plural, uh, we're not going to have the I, it's just going to end in U-M. And I'll, pull up, I'll show you another example in just a minute here. So, um, artiste in our... Uh, feminine artium, and then the rest just kind of uh, declines like, like I just showed you. So um, an example of, so these are I stands, an example of a third declension noun that would not do use this I in the, um, in the genitive plural would be rex, regis, is king, the masculine, it means king, 
and um, and then we'll use packs, packies. Feminine means peace. Our nominative here, Rex, and then in our nominative plural would be Regis. And then in our genitive singular, Regis. Oops, change my color here. Regis, as we're given. And then in our nominative, our genitive plural, instead of regium, like we did kiwium up here, it's just regum. So in our, um, for our feminine, pox, pockies, or pockets. In our genitive would be pockies. And then in our plural would not be pockium, it's just pockum. P-A-C-U-M. So let's um, masculine and feminine in both the I stem and then just non I stem, just general third declension. Let's take a look at how our neuter declines. So we're in the Third declension. Neuter. Right. We're going to use This is oh. so in our nominatives or in our nominative singular. Oh. I have a forum. Maybe translation too. If not, oh, oh well. Genitive singular carminis. The song. Native Carmeni. Two for the song. And then in our accusative, there, we're going to repeat the nominative singular form. So it's going to again be Carmen. And then in our ablative, carmine. So by with the song. And then in vocative, we're going to just repeat the nominative form. Song, I'm talking to you. Okay, in our nominative plural, uh, Carmen, instead of doing Carmenis, like uh, masculine and fem feminine, ha, masculine and feminine do, we have an A ending, just like in second declension. So Carmen songs.
Standard plural gives us carminum. It's not an I stem, so it doesn't get carminium, carminum of the songs. A plural is um, that ebus ending, carmineb to born the songs. Visitive, we're going to repeat the nominative form. Carmina, songs, direct object. And then in your ablative, same form as here. Carminibus by with the songs. And then in your vocative plural, it's just a, a repeating of the nominative form. I'm going to put that down here. So, Carmina songs. <laughs> 